Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Lifestand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at the projector preview. Now this modification has been out for quite some time, but after the survival brief using the projector block, many of you guys have asked me, do I have any more sort of inspirational ideas and how you could put this mod to use? And I said, hell yeah, of course I do. I've got loads of ideas for this thing. This thing just generates ideas on its mind. I mean, simply combining it with the text block here, you can see we've just got LSG Mine 24. It informs the player that what the name of this station is, but there's so much more you can do with just with the plain mod itself. So in the background, for instance, I've actually built myself a map. Now, say for instance, you're hosting a server and you want players to come into the server and understand where different locations are. Maybe you want them to know where they can mine resources, where they can trade them resources, or maybe where the faction base are for your server you can build them a little bit of a jump map like this and I've connected them up with dots I just thought that'd be a cool extra feature that's not really necessary but it shows you where they are in relation to each other and you could also connect these up to GPS coordinates and you could change the scale of this so the jump map or the sector can be as large or as small as you want but we'll fly outside and I'll show you the actual build so the actual build here to convert it down into that smaller scale is actually a really big sort of small ship wall. It's got a 3D sort of effect on, adds a little bit more detail to the television screen. And you can see as I've placed it back over, the block has kind of confirmed and merged with the, with the LCD. And it feels like it's almost been projected from the LCD itself. Just another little cool idea. You can use the button to turn it on and off or cycle through different sectors if you have them. Now if we go back to the character, we can actually see that I've color coded, so the LSG mine can actually conjunct with this mine on the map, and it's color coded it in yellow. And we can turn that off, so let's press T, and we can access the trade station that should be uh, colored green. And there you go, we've got the trade zone. So a player can have a look, go, oh, hang on, this is the trade zone, this is where I want to go. And you can have a pre look of what actually looks like the trade zone and see if that trade zone possesses the actual materials he needs. Maybe he needs a welder or some different equipment. You could quickly have a look and go, right, it's not got any welding bays, it's not got a repair station, so I'm not going to be going there. But just a cool idea, I thought. Anyway, we'll turn that off. So let's make sure that's off. I've not built the red faction base, I was too busy building all this, to be honest. And now we'll have a look at its st more sort of standard use. Now, more standardly, people use it as just a display to display the ship they've built, and that's really cool and stuff, but you could take it to the next level. We'll turn that one off, and we'll turn on an interior look. So you can use this as a plumbing chart to show where your wires are actually connecting up to different areas. So if your ship does come damaged or it's under an attack and certain systems are not working, you can look at your plumbing chart and go... Right, it's not working because that cable at the rear engine must have been destroyed. I'm going to have to go there and fix it. And you can see the areas that it cuts off by the split, well, actually destroying the plumbing itself. So let's cut to another one. Now, this is what I call an interior view. Say you wanted a person that's new to your ship to navigate around, they could have a look at this map. And they can see that I've highlighted all the interior cabin space with red. So you can see we've got the little cockpit up in that narrow slit at the top. We've got the refinery room in the middle there. And towards the back, we've got a second refinery room. And at the front, we've got a hangar. So it just really helps the player to figure a way around. And these were just some of the quick ways I thought would be quite inspiring ways to use it. So let's turn that off and turn that back on. So for the final part of this video, I'm going to show you how you can make this thing work. So we're going to access this by K. We're going to go down to the hunter. So it is this block here on the preview. And we can actually see at preview 1. So this is going to be allowing the block to preview this model, and the one is going to be the scale. So for instance, if we want a tiny, whiny little model, we can go to a 0 0.5. We can go even smaller if we want, and you can see how the scale has been shrunk down. And if we go back to that menu, we hit K for instance, and we find this, and we scale that back up to 2. You can see that we can also inflate the scale. We can also change the spin rate. So we've got at spin, and then we've got the rate. So it's at 0 0.1 at the moment, going really slowly. Let's turn that to two, three, you can make it even go even faster, four, so you can make it uncontrollable if you want, but let's actually slow it down so it doesn't destroy anyone's mind, and there we go. So that's basically how this mod works, it's really simple, you can change the scale and the rotation and the other sort of settings by manually controlling the projector block. So you can do that just by hopping into one of these projector blocks, scrolling down, selecting these options, moving it horizontal up and down, rolling it, pitching it, and you can get into that position that you want. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully it's inspired some of your builds, showing you some other ways of using this projector block rather than just a display model. And I will see you next time.